Uh, I'd like to um, introduce now our, our current Premier, Colin Barnett. Does, does oh, you question? All right, we'll hand it over to you, okay. Colin. Uh, thank you very much, Cherry, and uh, can I um, say welcome and uh, great to see uh, all of you here representing uh, the various claimant groups um, in the Perth and South West region. Um, can I uh, acknowledge uh, all among our people as traditional owners of this vast and beautiful land and uh, to your elders past and present. Uh, I'm sure your current elders have a uh, great sense of responsibility and a sense of maybe history in the discussions uh, that you're having today and you will have over the coming months. And I would hope that those past elders are looking down uh, in a benevolent way and just uh, hoping that you get it right. And uh, I do too. Uh, look, I'd like to also acknowledge um, all who have been involved in the discussions over the last two years, um, particularly through the uh, South West Aboriginal Land and Sea Council, also to the Native Title Unit within Premier and Cabinet, and uh, to Christian Porter as Attorney General, who has, uh, from a government perspective, uh, had a sort of oversight and uh, policy input for what is going on. From a government point of view, um, can I make it very clear that we don't for a moment, for a moment, underestimate uh, the significance of the discussions and the decisions that I hope that we will collectively get to. Uh, as you're aware, um, the discussions about a, a native title settlement for the Noongar people have been going on for around two years in detail, and I thank everyone who's given time and effort toward that. They have been proceeding in a quiet, uh, in a professional uh, and a thoughtful way, and uh, I think that is uh, a great compliment to all concerned. Uh, I wrote uh, to the Council um, uh, just before Christmas, um, basically outlining an offer by the State Government, flowing from those discussions, but an offer to have a full and final settlement of native title over a large area of the state, from, as you know, from the just to the south of Dongra, to the south coast, uh, close to Esperance, uh, an area of the state where probably uh, not only 30,000 Noongar people live, but probably uh, close to 90% of the population of Western Australia. So it, it is the, the, the big deal, I guess, the, the big native title claim and the one that affects uh, most people. Um, the state government, uh, as part of its offer, um, has uh, acknowledged that uh, we would have a bill into state parliament that would recognise Noongar people as the original inhabitants and the traditional owners of that land. And that would be something that would be then be enshrined in law, uh, more than simply a, a statement, but uh, giving a legislative stature uh, to Noongar people and recognising the history and their presence. Um, beyond that, there's obviously then uh, a structure of um, of payments and of land grants, um, and the detail of that is obviously to be discussed. Uh, the State Government stands ready to conclude a deal uh, with you. Uh, we expect it to be expensive, and it should be. Uh, it is, if it's concluded, is a full and final settlement of native title across that vast area. Uh, the State Government, in principle, is uh, agreeing to uh, make payments into an investment trust uh, over a 10 year period. The exact amount yet to be determined, but uh, we ex certainly expect that to be uh, in the tens of millions of dollars per year, and that over a 10 year period will uh, create an investment trust that will run into hundreds of millions of dollars and certainly probably well in excess of half a billion dollars. Uh, that will be preserved, that capital, and uh, the earnings from that will then uh, provide, in, in a sense, a future fund for the Aboriginal people. Uh, in addition, uh, the transfer of land into that trust uh, to be used uh, uh, as time goes by, but also providing a, a, an asset in itself that can be used by Aboriginal people and basically giving it effectively uh, a freehold ownership of that land. Um, the details of those pieces of land, uh, again, that will affect every community, every locality, um, and, and probably will be, be several hundreds, maybe even over a thousand pieces of land throughout the area. Uh, a lot of detailed discussion, a lot of local cultural history, uh, heritage discussions and the like will come into that. That will be an ongoing process, but our commitment is absolutely uh, full and uh, honest in doing that. 
And there will also be some, obviously, some, some, some governance arrangements uh, also set up. Uh, one important part will be joint management of the conservation estate uh, in the southwest. And uh, not only is that important, but uh, um, traditional ownership and cultural values are reflected uh, in that conservation estate, but it also provides uh, prime opportunities for training and employment of young Aboriginal people and uh, uh, in all respects. So that again will be a, a sort of a work that we'll go through. And uh, there are other aspects to it. Um, from, a, from a state government point of view, um, we, we have a number of, I guess, motivations in this. Uh, we want to see uh, Aboriginal people advance. Uh, we want to see the elders uh, and the leaders, the Aboriginal people um, in the southwest and through those Noongar claim areas, uh, be able to fully assume responsibility and provide leadership and, in a sense, a control and a development of their people uh, into, for now, but into future generations. Uh, a state government, a white community cannot do that. That can only come from within Aboriginal people and Aboriginal communities. So we want to support you in doing that. Uh, we also want to make sure that time and effort and money that has already been expended in its tens of millions of dollars uh, by claimant groups and by the state government uh, in uh, native title processes through the federal court uh, comes to an end and that that time and money and effort can be used for the betterment of Aboriginal people and the wider community. Uh, a third aspect is that I would hope that if we can reach agreement, we will move, remove one of those areas of tension and argument between Aboriginal people and the wider community. And in that sense, uh, this is an important step toward a reconciliation. Uh, it doesn't do it by itself, but it is an important step and I don't think you can just simply say reconciliation or even an apology or even a march across the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, it is the hard yards and the detailed effort by each and every one of us, whether in the Aboriginal community or the wider community, to genuinely bring Aboriginal people into our mainstream community and build confidence and also build in the wider community a respect and understanding of Aboriginal people, of their history, of their culture and of their aspirations. So this is, to me, and I think to you, far more than simply a native title settlement. I see it as something more than that, but it must be led by Aboriginal people. So you carry uh, on your shoulders for past generations and future, gen future generations a huge responsibility. And while, from my perspective, I would hope that we can conclude these negotiations this year, and I think we should aim to do that, I do urge you to take the time uh, and, to, and to make sure you think it through carefully. My final message would be, in something as large and complex as this, um, please try and seek to get an agreement or at least an understanding or a shared view over the, the big aspects of the agreement. Um, there will always be detail, there will always be sometimes smaller issues, but very important to individuals. But if we can reach agreement on the broad structure, uh, the broad parameters, then the detail will fall out. And uh, I think that's always the challenge for both the Aboriginal people and indeed uh, Native Title Unit and the Attorney General to keep us getting the big agreement, the wide agreement. And from there we can go forward. So uh, congratulations on what has been done to this point. Uh, there will never be a 100% agreement. I think we all understand that. But you have a great opportunity, and if I can dare to say it, a responsibility to do something truly wonderful uh, for Aboriginal people and you will have my support and you will have the attorney's support uh, and the Minister for Indigenous Affairs, I've just noticed the right, Peter Collier, uh, his support in doing this. We all recognise this is more than simply a native title settlement, this is a, a very significant moment in history. I'd like now to ask the Attorney-General to add a few detailed comments. Thanks very much.